Well, hello, everyone. Uh, again, this is uh, Curtis Dickinson. Uh, I'd like to welcome everybody in and uh, uh, just give everybody my thanks for taking the time out of the day to sit in on the presentation and just kind of see what we have to discuss and present to you. Uh, won't take up too much time with the introduction just because I know that we're all busy and we only have an hour, so we'll go ahead and just jump right into it. So what we'll cover is just a little bit about what we consider a scan plan to be, uh, talk a little bit about uh, where scan plans come from, what information is involved, uh, a little bit about uh, perspective from our codes. Uh, what do our code books typically tell us about scan plans? what's required, essential variables, and obviously getting into how we actually implement that scan plan. Uh, in addition to that, at the end of the presentation, uh, I'll take a little bit of time out of just the PowerPoints and the presentation that you're reviewing right now and actually show you how to implement some of that um, using a two pieces of software, uh, NDT Setup Builder, which is a scan planning tool developed by Olympus. Uh, in and uh, Beam Tool 6, which is a program developed by Eclipse Scientific. So we'll start this off with, again, just talking a little bit about uh, where scan planning comes from uh, and how we look at it and how we use it. Uh, typically, when you talk about scan planning, it's always referred to or tied to specifically phased array. Uh, it's, a, it's a big buzzword. You hear it all the time, um, you, you kind of have some idea of what it is and how you implement it, how you use it, but really scan plan comes from what we do on a day-to-day -day basis in any ultrasonic examination. Anything that has to deal with how you implement a UT test uh, down to transducer selection, down to evaluating um, sensitivity or resolution characteristics or probably the best example I have and typically use is uh, determining your skip distance for an angle beam examination. So when you approach the inspection of, say, a weld with angle beam shear wave, one of the first things that the operator or technician does is they take the angle of inspection that they're using and they measure back from the toe of the weld to ensure that they have proper coverage. So there's several different things that we perform, even with conventional UT, that we consider scan planning. It's just a little bit more involved when you try and take that idea and transfer that to a scan plan. So from the phased array perspective, what is a scan plan? What's the definition of a scan plan? The scan plan, as you see here, how we define it is a documented inspection strategy to provide repeatability for inspections. From a technician standpoint or perspective or point of view, the scan plan is just a series of instructions. What transducer do I use? What wedge do I use? Uh, what angles am I supposed to generate with the transducer? From their point of view, it's just a, a list of those parameters that they either enter into the instrument or they just reproduce. But the scan plan is much more than that. The scan plan is meant not just for that single inspector, but it's meant to be used for any number of inspectors or anybody else involved in the inspection process. It's meant to document how the test is being done and ensure that no matter who is carrying out that inspection, no matter who's looking at the data, reviewing it, or even uh, analyzing or looking at the report, that everything's done in conjunction, everything's repeatable, uh, everything is consistent. So while the technician looks at it more as an instruction sheet, we want to take a more broad view of the scan plan and look at it as a tool for making sure every stage of the inspection is consistent and repeatable. 